in case of the other person who had asked me the same question will my promotion come through this person drew the hanged man now let us look at how we can combine the question with the meaning of the card Friends, now we will take out a few sample readings to clarify everything that we have learnt in the past almost hour and a half. Let us start with the simplest of spreads, that is the single card spread. Here I have taken a question which was asked to me by two different people and I had drawn the same single card spread for this question for both these people. but. Obviously, the two cards that came up were different. So, I'm discussing this particular spread with you because I also know the outcome of what happened after the uh, reading. In both the cases, the question was, will my promotion come through? In the case of the first person, that person drew the star card. Since this is a single card spread, we do not need to think about the position. All that we need to think about is the question and the meaning of the card. Now what is the meaning of the star card? It means to have hope, to follow inner guidance, your inner star, to be hopeful, to let go, to express yourself. So in answer to this question, will my promotion come through? When the star card comes up and we try to combine the question with the meaning of the card, then friends, what are we getting? The first thing we get is have hope, then yes, it is a positive card, yes, be hopeful about the promotion. Second thing we get is follow your inner guidance, express, let go, reveal. So these are kind of guidance that we are getting on how you can maximize your chances of getting the promotion. So I had asked this person whether they were expressing themselves enough, whether they were speaking up enough at work. I further told them that you should follow your inner guidance, follow whatever comes to you internally, follow your intuition. This person did work upon these things and their promotion did come through. In case of the other person who had asked me the same question, will my promotion come through? This person drew the hanged man. Now let us look at how we can combine the question with the meaning of the card. The hanged man itself, as we saw, the fool has gone and hung himself upside down from the tree. He is seeing things in a different perspective. He was seeing things from a material perspective until now. Now suddenly he's going inwards. His perspective has changed from a material to a spiritual perspective. Now, how does this combine with this question, friends, that will my promotion come through? This is not a clear yes or no answer kind of card that has been pulled out. There are two or three different kind of interpretations that can be taken out. First possibility is the most obvious that since the person is going from material to spiritual, he needs, up, needs to give up material pursuit, he is changing his perspective. So either the person will be changing his perspective towards the promotion or else he will need to give up the material things which means the promotion is not coming to him. Another interpretation of this hangman friends is that there is guidance that if you give up your material pursuits and take a more spiritual perspective then you could get the promotion. However, at this point of time, it is important to try and look at the question a little more deeply. Had the question been that how can I ensure that I get a promotion and the hanged man came up, then I would have safely concluded that okay, this is trying to tell us what approach to take. 
However, the question was that will my promotion come through? That is why I went ahead with the first possibility that is that it is unlikely for the promotion to come through. And in this case, the promotion, their promotion did not come through that year, friends. So now, friends, we will look at the second spread that I have brought for you today. This is a three card spread in which I have modified it a little to show you how we can modify our spreads. The question that I was asked was whether my opponent has stopped, whether they have surrendered, whether they will now stop attacking me. So since I had wanted more information than just the past, present and future, I thought of doing a spread which would be a past, present, future spread but then I added an additional meaning to each of the positions. So the past position I also added self, the present position I also added situation and the future position I also added challenges. Now friends you can keep in mind that it is up to you if you want to begin with you can also take this as separate like you can draw out six cards also for such a reading first three cards could be past present future and the next three cards can be self situation and challenges but i had wanted to do a three card spread with double meanings for each position so here i have overlapped the past present future with the self situation and challenges and the cards that were drawn friends is the first card we see here is the eight of coins the second is the nine of wands and the third is the knight of swords now let us try to combine the meaning of each position with the question and the card that we have received let us look at the first card which represents the past as well as the self now when we say self it means that the querent is being shown here Eight of Pentacles is about hard work, detailing, concentrating on your work, concentrating on your plans. When we combine this with the past and the self, then it shows that the querent has actually just been working his own plans out. I do not see any negativity in this card. I do not see any scheming or plotting in this card. So I can safely say that the person has not really been scheming, plotting, deceiving or in any way trying to instigate this person. In the first card I also see that the person is neither weak nor is he trying to come off as very strongly or being aggressive towards the other person. Now when I look at the second card which is the present situation and also the situation at hand with respect to the question then I see a nine of wands. The Nine of Wands is about being a little suspicious. We also see an injury to the head. We also see that the person is looking a little suspiciously. Now here what is very interesting friends is to see how the cards interact. Now we can see that the person in the Nine of Wands is looking at the person in the Eight of Pentacles suspiciously. These two characteristics, the two characters seem different. Hence, I can safely conclude that this person is the opponent that the Ava Querent was talking about. Over here, the injury to the head shows some kind of things going on in the mind, mental tension, worry, anxiety. Either that is the cause of wanting to strike back or that is what is being what is the state of this person but definitely the person is a little suspicious and on guard because this card is also about being on guard however this current situation shows that the person is weak because the nine of wands is not about being strong this is about feeling a little weak inside and while being weak this person is looking at the querent who looks stronger than the person now we come to the third card which is the future which is also the challenges and in response to the question that will this person get back to me or will this person surrender or will this person attack me we can clearly see that even if we forget the meaning of the knight of swords we see an attack furthermore 
what does the knight of swords mean what is the meaning of the card it is a person who is on a mission the knight is a person on a mission of swords knight of swords is a person who is on a mission with respect to ideas thoughts communication so what is the person going to do here these are also the challenges now when we say this knight of swords it could either represent the querent or it could represent the opponent but since this is the future position and this is also showing the challenges so challenges for who challenges for the querent because the question has been asked by the querent and not by the opponent so this challenge is being posed for the querent now this person is charging at the querent even if we look at the three cards together now we look at the story together we can see that the person is charging towards the eight of coins since the nine of wands is the opponent the knight of swords is not charging towards the nine of wands but towards the eight of coins why because the knight of swords is seeing the eight of coins person as a strong opponent also he is plotting and scheming and using his thoughts and ideas which is everything that the swords is about to get back at the person furthermore this is about communication knight of swords is a person on a mission using his ideas thoughts and communication so it is possible that the person can also expect a verbal comeback a kind of a verbal attack furthermore friends knight of swords or court cards also represent events so even if we take it as an event then also we see that such an event can take place where we can expect a verbal comeback or basically someone charging at the querent so yes the person will come back and no the person has not surrendered they have not given up if you have any questions friends you can share them in the comments section below and you can start watching the more detailed videos to get a deeper understanding of how to understand your different tarot cards different tarot spreads and how to make predictions how to do meditations we have many many videos which are extremely detailed this is probably the only concise video so that's all for this video my dear friends and i wish you all the very best with your journey as a tarot card reader om oh.